You ask me, am I pleased? The answer is honestly no. There's nothing to be pleased about with a $63 million budget shortfall. There's nothing to be pleased about when I give my department heads a vision and say, go execute this vision. But then because of a budget shortfall, I have to cut their vacant positions. And so I have to cut potential fresh um, eyes on how to execute and lead on a vision. There's nothing pleasing about that. There's nothing pleasing about having 3,500 employees and you can't give them a COLA, a cost of living adjustment. You can't give them a merit increase. Um, you can't give them a, um, you know, longevity pay for those who have been here 20, 30 years. Nothing pleasing about that. There's nothing, absolutely nothing pleasing about literally all of our employees having nine holidays with no pay. That's literally almost two more weeks. Absolutely take no pleasure in that. And of course, the heaviest of it all, um, to actually have to furlough um, some of our employees, it's painful. If I'm being like just straight up honest with you, I don't like it. It's nothing I want to do. Here's the number one thing our residents want to know: Are the services being provided, even with a $63 million budget shortfall, are still going to pick up my trash? The answer is yes. Or call 911. I need a paramedic, a fire truck, or a police officer. Will somebody respond? The answer is yes. You know, um, will we will we still be in a position to pave streets and repair potholes and make sidewalks walkable? The answer is yes. Hey, we've been complaining about this overgrown lot here, this abandoned house here for years. Will you be able to still remove that blight structure and cut that lot? The answer is yes.